Santa Barbara City Council members got a storm update today, and as Tracy Lair reports, the community weathered the storm by being prepared. As people shared storm videos and images from the airport to Mission Creek, the Santa Barbara City Council got an update. Fire Chief Chris Mayles explained why it rained for so long. We are subject to what is called orographic lift. That is when the clouds come in, they bump up against our front country mountains, and the clouds sit there and dump rain. They used a bear cat to evacuate people and made sure to have water rescue swimmers and equipment on hand after the National Weather Service predicted flooding. As four inches of rain fell, bluffs eroded, wind knocked down 18 trees, several boats washed ashore, and first responders rescued one person from a car. But thanks to community members heeding warnings, no one reported injuries and most people stayed indoors. They really listened to the public information, they listened to the National Weather Service and got prepared. And we want them to do that for every disaster we have. An outreach in Spanish made a difference too. We understand that we have a vast majority of our a community that is Spanish speaking. So we want to make sure that everyone receives the same messaging and at the same time. And so uh, again, uh, as my colleagues have mentioned before, it really is spreading the word of preparedness. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen, it's when it's going to happen. Even the city spokesperson carries a go bag or emergency essentials. It is a set of warm clothes. I have a water filtration device. I have power banks for electricity. First responders urge everyone to sign up for emergency alerts with the city and the county and to follow them on social media. You'll find links on our mobile app and website. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.